I don't know about you, but distance learning has been a bit of a doozy for me. It's taken me a minute to find ways of learning inside the home that are intuitive and easy and don't require a lot of babysitting on my part. But I'm so excited because Kahoot, which is already a huge partner in children's education, making learning awesome, has acquired two new partners which is Poyo for reading and the development of letters and understanding English, as well as Dragon Box, which comes in four different levels to help your child understand the basics of math all the way up to complex algebra in a really fun way. Come with me as I show you how they work, and I think you're gonna find something your child is going to like. First step, I wanna show you the game Poyo. Poyo is created for children three to eight, and as you can see here, Jet is learning how to make the sound uh, and each of those keys will help him understand which sound matches with that letter. This game is really fun because it's kind of like a Mario Brothers type game where they get to adventure through and figure out the words as they upgrade in level. Poyo is all about building blocks of reading. And what I love, this is for kids ages three to eight, and it will take your kids into the letter names and sounds and breaking apart words, bringing them back together. But it is like a journey of learning how to read. It's very explorative and it's smart technology, so it follows your kids' abilities. And it will actually let you track their progress. So as they're going through, they are learning to break apart and build words. And it's super fun. Check it out. Like, ooh. So Jensen is three years old. And he was able you to figure this out. Sound. Here we go. Is it? Perfect. Good job. Dragon Box Numbers is an introduction to math. It's for kids ages three to eight and focuses on teaching your kids the basics of math. It is awesome. Both of my youngest boys that are three, almost four, and the other who is six have found that it is so much fun. It uses little monsters called gnomes. And the one guys. So these tiny little ones represent one and Jensen is building a puzzle. What's really, what's really fun about the Dragon Box numbers is that you can use the gnomes. Oh, you're almost there with the puzzle. You can use the gnomes to create bigger gnomes. Okay, this is Dragon Box Big Numbers, and Jane, who is nine, is going to show us how this works. So this builds on the same things that you've learned from Dragon Box Numbers that is free for the, the month of May. And what's really cool about this one is you actually get to build your own world and collect these apples and help them solve equations that you need. I'm going to be showing you how she uses these apples to create equations, and then when she does so many equations, it makes it so that she can earn things for her new and the house that she makes. So she just solved this equation, 45. And then she can use these equations that she finished to create a place for her new or her little monster to live. So she's going to show you the little house that she's created so far, which is really fun. What's your favorite thing about this game, Jane? Uh, that you can... Um, Play. It's kind of like a video game. It's not like, oh yeah, you're supposed to do this equation and then this equation. So it feels fun. Yeah. All right, this is a Dragon Box Algebra 5 Plus. So Jet, who's six, is learning how to isolate the box of algebra. It's the same concept as the Algebra 12 Plus, it's just more simple but it's already teaching them how to find the opposites and solve or solve for the box, which is essentially X. The box is alone. So, so for example, this box is the opposite of this. So these two can cancel each other out on the same side. And that's how it teaches algebra for algebra five plus. Let's see him do this one on his own. Matching up the opposites, so essentially making a one. And if this is confusing at first and your kid can't figure it out, which mine did just fine, but if you do feel like they're struggling, there are tutorials that break it down easier online. 
Okay. Okay, so this is Dragon Dragon Box Algebra 12 Plus, and Jackson's going to show you how it works. Okay, so it's practically just algebra, but in this. You're trying to get the box alone, aka getting the equal of the equation. So each one needs to have its exact counterpart, and you have to have the exact equal thing happen on the other side. Once you merge the two, it creates a portal which can be destroyed. So you then need to like do a bunch of stuff to complete the puzzle. So Jackson wasn't quite getting this one right because there was opposites oh. already happening in the equation that he didn't quite see. So the app is actually showing him how to do it to find opposites on both sides and it will tell you what you've done wrong. What's also really cool is up here in the corner, it will show you if there, how many steps the equation should take. And then when that little zoom light goes around, that shows you that you've done it the right way. Guess what, Mom? What? So, do you know the treehouse from Big Numbers? Yeah. I finished it, and there's another tree, and there's a treehouse for a two guy, and, and I'm saving up 100 rocks for it, and it's gonna, and I finished a level, and it was, and now I have a new island, and it has fish, and it cost um, two, two coins, two or three coins to get fish. Whoa, so you're having way fun? Yeah, I'm just playing farming right now. Dragon Box, big numbers, so fun. Yeah. Thank you for joining us in the breakdown of these apps. We have loved Dragon Box, all four of them, for different reasons at the different stages that all my kids are. And Poyo, too. Jensen, which one is your favorite? Do you like doing numbers with Dragon Box or do you like doing Poyo? Dragon Box? Yeah. Cool. All right, well, if you have any questions about the apps, just check out the blog post at mymommystyle.com and make sure you subscribe. We'll see you later.